All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start a new playlist. We'll call it Two Minute Tips. Hey there, I'm an electrician with a pro tip for you. And as of right now, I have no female viewers, so that shouldn't be offensive. And today's topic, strain relief. Uh, I think he was talking about a different kind of strain relief. Hey, thanks, Karen. That's correct. But I'll take it from here, okay? I make a lot of my own connectors and wiring harnesses, and I'm pretty OCD about soldering all my connections. I even soldered the super tiny DuPont connectors that were intended to be crimped. Soldering creates a super strong bond at the weld joint, but just beyond that lays the land of hell and damnation, the purgatory realm of electronic longevity. Right behind that solder joint is a weak, work-hardened area that's prone to fatigue and failure. The way to mitigate this failure is proper strain relief after the solder joint. The pro tip here is using hot glue. The hot glue will act as a cast to support the area between your solder joint and flexible wire. We're not done yet though. Depending on how hot your glue was or how sloppy your pullout game is, you might have to use your finger to manipulate it back into shape. It also helps to cool it down so it doesn't run to other components. Flawless victory. And just like other videos you watch that require finger manipulation, spit seems to work the best. For some reason, hot glue won't stick to your finger if you spit on it first. I've tried water and it just doesn't have the lubricity. Once you've encased that weak zone, you'll have a solid connector that'll last a long time in rough environments and conditions. And don't worry guys, I'm still wrapping up the files on the motion control camera. Stay tuned. There's nothing worse than a super cool project that is a horrible Mad Libs instruction manual. If you don't finger that subscribe button, I'm gonna...